What is up my fellow prod coders? Welcome to the second part of this tutorial series. Today we're going to do a component breakdown. So as we are about to build our application out, we need to know how to break all of this down into smaller components. And then we're going to build the components all step by step. And in the end, we're going to end up with this application. So just as a rem reminder, if I search for burgers somewhere, you can also search for anything else, then I get this result list. So this is what we want to build. And I would suggest we should start with the first page because that one with the landing page, that one looks pretty simple. And in order to make this a little bit more clear, um, I created a little diagram over here. So I made a screenshot of this landing page and I drew a few boxes around some components. So as you can see, we are going to have this uh, top bar. So that's going to be the blue one. This is just going to be a little bit of text. And um, beneath that, we're going to have the logo will just be an image and below that we will have this uh, search bar that we're also going to use um, in the result list like this is the component here and then we will have this small component here with a few icons and a little bit of text and that's pretty much it so i would say let's just directly start building everything out and by the way, all these box components here, they will live inside one big parent component. And this is going to be the landing page. Uh, and I would suggest we start with creating that. So let's just go to our code editor and let's just create a new directory and let's just call it landing page. And inside that directory, we wanna have two files. We wanna have landing page.js and we also want to have a landing page dot module dot CSS. Now, if you're wondering what this module is, um, CSS modules is a way to scope CSS to one particular component. If you don't have CSS modules enabled and you declare the same CSS class in different components, then it might be possible that they override each other. But if you use CSS modules, like the runtime will generate a unique uh, class name uh, for all the classes we're going to write in here. So you, we will not have any conflict. It's just a good thing to do. So I would highly recommend uh, using this to not have like any bad surprises. Okay, so let's import React from React. And since we are going to put the focus on React hooks, uh, we are only going to create functional components. So let's just say a landing page and we're going to return uh, something. Okay, let's say a landing page. Let's not to forget the semicolon here. So now we have the parent component where all these fancy blue, green, red boxes uh, will be hosted. And uh, we of course want to display them. So that's why we go to our app component we replace this paragraph here and we replace it with a landing page. Let's close that up. Nice, that's done. Okay, um, I will stop the ready application and I will start our application so we can see what we have so far. Nice, so as you can see, we're now displaying this landing page text that means we're successfully rendering this component. Good. Now that we have the more or less bigger parent component, uh, let's just continue and start building this um, top bar here. So I'm talking about this blue thing here. And since this top bar will only be part of the landing page, let's just create a sub uh, folder inside the landing page component so that everything is nicely scoped. Good, so here we are going to create uh, a new folder and I would say we can call this top map. And we want a top map.js file. 
and we also need um, a topnav topnav.module.css file because we are going to put some styles into it so we're just going to import react we're going to say export function topnav and then we're going to return something let's just return a div okay so there we have it and then we want to display this top navigation bar as the first uh, child component in our landing page right because if you go back to the to this little box here the blue thing is the first component that we see inside our landing page component so that's why we're going to display it first cool so instead of uh, having this text uh, we want to have the top nav and I'm just going to leave this uh, div in here because later on we will also apply some styling to a landing page itself. Uh, but for now, it should be just fine. Uh, so let's see. We have our top nav and inside our top nav, we don't have nothing. Okay, and next step would be to say this component this one consists of a text so this is this right review and the events and it consists of uh, like this text and the button and as you can see like the content here of this thing is floated to the left and to the right so this is something we can work with but let's first uh, maybe create the text so in here, we are going to say div. Well, let's not do anything in here. Let's just put a span and just say write a review. And uh, another span events. So right, right now, we're not going to do any styling or any CSS. Just this text so if you save that you will just see okay it's just putting the text side by side not very useful right okay but we have this text and we can continue with the button so let's create another div and i'm going to explain in a second why we're going to have uh, this particular setup so we have a div here Oh, this diff must go in here actually like we have a parent diff and then we have two child diffs and you're going to see why we will do that in a second but let's just say okay span uh, login and then we want a button so we can say button and class name uh, equals uh, button let's sign up so we should see something yeah, we have this button and as we can see somehow our um, styles or like our Bulma or whatever we pulled in is somehow not visible. And that is because we haven't imported our Bulma CSS into our project yet. But we're going to do that right now. So let's head over to index.js. This is here. And we are just going to say import bulma slash css slash bulma dot css so what this does is it says take all the css from this bulma library we imported earlier and apply it right here and since we're applying it in the index.js file which is rendering our entire app the bulma css will be applied globally so that's pretty cool Let's just see if something changes. If we do it like this, it should look a little bit different now. Yes, you can see here now it's a different font and a different button. And since this video is getting like, uh, since we already have like roughly 10 minutes, I would just say let's continue in the next video and let's continue building this top bar out. So it will just be a small, a few small little changes until we have it. See you then. Uh, thank you very much for watching and please do not forget to give the video a thumbs up and to, sus 
subscribe.